Right. So um, we are speaking to the Office of the Chief Justice um, and... No, we're not. We're speaking to Umlungisi um, Mdembu. Lusanda Ntuli is from the Office of the Chief Justice. Um, and Umlungisi um, Mtembu, who is the Senior Registrar in the Motion Court Gauteng Division of the High Court, is on the line. Good morning, Umlungisi. Um, Good morning to you, sir, and your listeners. How are you? Well, and you, sir? Uh, I'm not complaining. I'm okay. I'm glad that one of us is not complaining. I'm just complaining about the cold at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess you'd be complaining for a long time. Winter is just that. Uh, no, it's cool. I'm born in winter, so um, it is not a problem for me at all. It's just, it was very sudden. You know, we knew it was coming, and then we got to a point where it was like, okay, fine, it's here. So, uh, yeah. yes. Thank you so much. Right. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. We appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedule. Um, because the Thank last you. time I spoke to Lucanda, you were all over the countryside <laughs> and <laughs> in and out of meetings. So thank you yet again um, for this. Um, we're just going to get right into it. Um, Nungisi, you are the registrar. But I want to know, what is the registrar? Okay, the um... In, in, in simple terms, a registrar is a court process administrator, so to speak. Okay. Uh, to give you an example, should you have a need to come to court on any type of a matter, the office you're most likely interact with is that of a registrar. And on the other side, should a judge need any relating to any court matter that is currently on our rolls, they will as well relate with a registrar. So we are central to the processing of all court uh, administrative flows in terms of what comes in, where does it go, how does it go there, how fully compliant is it with the law, how fully compliant is it with the uniform rules, and uh, how fully compliant is it with the practice directives that the judge president would issue from time to time. Okay, so basically you are, uh, you do the allocations. So you would, would, would determine, okay, fine, this needs to go in this direction or in the other. So it's basically about allocations, but also understanding what each um, case entails. Is that correct? That's correct. And most importantly, in ensuring that whatever it may be is compliant with what is expected in terms of the law of the countries, or rather the laws of the country, and as well as the uniform rules that practitioners use in arguing and saying, okay, but this is what the rule says, this is why I'm doing this and that. Okay, great. Now, what qualifications and experience does one need to be a registrar? Um, it's an LLB degree, which is the Bachelor of Laws um, and in terms of experience, uh, mostly you have posts that will say two years post-qualification experience mm -hmm. and above. So it varies. I, I've seldom seen, but I'm not saying it's never been, where you have one without any post-qualification experience of some sort. But you're looking at, on average, a two-year post-qualification experience in a legal environment, be it you serving articles as a candidate attorney or you having been in some office working on legal matters, so to speak. Yeah. Yeah, that's what you're looking at. But, now, but the qualification is strictly the Bachelor of Laws, at least for now. Okay. The thing... And there must be many cases that come across your desk, though, where you, where you have an opinion. How difficult is it for you to, you know, have a level of restraint when it comes to um, feelings and, and um, you know, dealing with difficult cases? Well, well, I, I guess that's why I, I said earlier on, I've never really been exposed to a post that did not require any experience of any sort. Mm -hmm. uh, the difficulty, I think, comes with you having been in practice for some time and having that level of experience. 
But as well in, 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 in simply understanding court processes, mm-hmm. you know, like, like you can't be one and not understand really what is happening in court. Yes. And with the understanding of what is happening in court, then comes you being specific in terms of really capturing why is this being done, through which legal instrument is this supported, and for what purpose is it measured in that way, so to speak. But yes, difficult cases do come. I mean, when it comes to litigation in the general, and I always say this to the guys in the office to say, you never really have a simple matter coming to court. Mm-hmm. You can't classify it as simple and the other is difficult because it's all personal and subjective to the individuals that are litigating. Mm-hmm. You may view it as small, but to them it may be a matter of life and death. You may say, uh, no, it's a couple of hundred thousand, uh, while there's matters involving billions, so mm-hmm. to speak. But to them, those hundred thousand which you view as uh, a few may be what will sustain them to the future. Absolutely. So I'm saying, in so much as there is complexity in litigation, mm-hmm. but our role and responsibility is to make sure that we understand the law. Mm-hmm. At, at the foundation of everything is legal instruments, and we are indirectly forced and it's expected of us to understand all legal instruments. And by a great measure, I think we do or at least we try every day to uh, teach ourselves and to gain some more knowledge, so to speak, yeah. So every every case is subjective, and there's never a case, and there's never an instance where you feel um, the same way based on the circumstances. And you need to then, of course, apply what you know legally to ensure that this case has the the legal um, and the correct outcome. Correctly captured, yes. <laughs> Correctly captured. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful stuff. Umlungisa, it's always such a pleasure speaking to you. Is there any anything else that we haven't covered that you would just like to highlight before we let you go? But perhaps, yes. Um, I'll try and be as fast as I can. I, 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 I'm trying to get you to understand what really comes to court and what do we specifically do. Yes. An office of registrar and with different divisions are going to have different sections within the court building. But mm-hmm. you have in the basic an office that issues all applications. Mm-hmm. And like I said, it's a matter of complying with the uniform rules. And uh, we also find ourselves doing quasi-judicial functions where an application will come for an attention of a registrar. They will go through the application and issue a judgment. Mm-hmm. We call those default judgments. Then uh, we also have a section that does Taxing. Taxing is when attorneys bring their legal cost uh, and are saying, okay, this is how I have charged this particular client for the work that I have done. Mm-hmm. Now there's a process involved there where we check exactly if it's in line with the applicable tariffs in a way to make sure that clients are not cheated off and vice versa, attorneys are not cheated off. Basically, okay. it's a matter of confirming how the cost has been arrived at. Mm-hmm. and passing those costs okay. as being legit and a true, so to speak. Then we also have a section that keeps a record, a very, very crucial function of the court, uh, in that if you come and you need something relating to a matter that was had in 1996, mm-hmm. the court should be able to provide you with that information. Uh, and uh, like I said, uh, different sections, then you've got appeals, you've got archives, you've got admissions and so forth. So I'm saying in so much as there's an umbrella weight that says register, within it is quite a full machine of people working behind these offices. Okay. All right. Yeah, thank you. Okay, well, that has definitely taught me a couple of things. I'm, I'm grateful for that. I've learned a little bit as well, so I'm happy. Thank you so much for your time, Mr. Mtembu. We will, of no, co- thank you, Sherry. We will, of course, speak to you again um, on the 21st, I think it is. <laughs> okay, no. We'll <laughs> All right. We'll Have a good day, um, and then we'll t- we'll chat then. Thank you so much. Okay, you do as well. Okay, Have then. A good day. Thank you. Okay, bye bye. That, of course, is Mlungisi Mtembu, who is the registrar at the High Court.